Hey there, Internet. So, you know how, like, I don't know, over a year ago, I made a few videos that were all, like, the history of Valentine's Day, or the history of Halloween, or did I do Christmas? I don't know. I did, like, holiday history kind of dealy. I just stepped in a large hole down there. That, wow, okay. Um, anyway, this is the difficulty of trying to walk and uh, hold the camera at the same time. But you get to see it all, because this, this is life unedited. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, I made those like history of the holidays videos. Well, kind of thought I ran out of holidays for a while, which is stupid because I've also previously made videos about how there's a holiday for like every day of the entire year. I'm not gonna go into that. The point being, I realized that coming up this Monday is something called Labor Day. It's a long weekend. We get school off here at my school, which shall here go unnamed. And so I thought, hey, I'll look into that. It could maybe be exciting. I mean, Groundhog Day was pretty cool, so why not Labor Day? Turns out it's super duper boring. Like, it was created to honor slash thank slash you know, drum up some cool street cred for the labor people, like blue collar workers, which is most people. So basically Labor Day is just everybody's holiday. In fact, honestly, really the only slightly exciting thing about it was the fact that no one knows who came up with it. There were two guys, possibly, oddly enough, both named McGuire, except one of them was M-C capital G-U-I-R-E and the other was just M-A-G-U-I-R-E. But yeah, two dudes named McGuire, one holiday with not really any point. My research was disappointing but then, as I tend to do, I started thinking and I thought, there is something that every year people celebrate, or at least remember to do, it happens every year, and we have no idea really why, historically speaking. It's just a thing that people made a bill, no one really knows who thought of it first, and how crazy is it that there is something like that that we just don't no. And in fact, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there are tons of things that people just don't know about history and about science and about the way things work, which I guess is technically science. I think that we as the collective human race tend to assume that we've just kind of got things figured out. And that often kind of makes me sad because I worry that there's like nothing left out there to discover or to invent or to realize or to really create. But then I realized that there's tons of stuff we don't know and we can't possibly know what we don't know, so there could be even more stuff we don't know. Is that mind-boggling enough for you? I sure hope so, because Boggle is a board game. Is it really a board game if there's no board involved? That just got totally random, and that was not the point. The point is, I'm about to cross the street and need to look both ways. I'm not gonna get hit by a car, so that's good. The point is, people hardly know anything. In the grand scheme of what there is to know, which is like way up here. People know like this much. And that gives me hope for the future. But we also don't know what the future is. So that's even more exciting. So much not knowing. And that is what's been going through my brain today. So let me know down in the comment section, does it terrify you that we don't know things? Or do you think it's cool that we don't know things? Because I think those are pretty much the two approaches you can take. Or is there some third one? I don't know. Uh, see what I did there? Till next week, deuces. Mm -hmm.